Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this tumbler on a one-inch square. I just went out in the shop and did one. So I made from the previous video, the gentleman is doing a one-inch by one-inch square. And let's just make this one inch. Let's lock our ratio and make it one inch. And we made it, and actually in the other video, I changed it the wrong direction. And just remember, you got to flip it. But we're going to change this to 1.2658. Whoop. You need to unlock your ratio. 1.2658. And then flip this 90 degrees. And then run that on your laser because your cup's going to be going this way. But I did the job. And first of all, these cups are tapered. So if you ever focus on the top part, the taper is different than the second part. So you need to level this bottom part. That's pretty crucial. But I did this one at one inch. And it is one inch by one inch. But it's almost an optical illusion. It's a little thinner at the bottom because of the shape of the cup. So I did a second one. And I'm not 100% perfect. But it's a lot better. And how I did that, I measured the cup with a caliper from, let's get the parallel dimension tool. And I measured it from this area. Don't measure from here and here. Measure it on your writing surface. And I came up with the picture is not correct. But I measured there. And I measured there. And you can see the difference right there, uh, 3.94 versus, and of course, I'm not exactly right on this, but I did do it with a caliper. Let's remeasure that, zoomed in from about that part of the cup to that part of the cup. And look at the difference. It's almost a quarter of an inch difference. So what I did, I took a one inch by one inch. Well, no, I didn't. I measured the cup and I made it one inch, but then I made the top 3.148 was the size of the cup, the measurement of the cup. And then I control D and made a duplicate of it. And the bottom measurement was 3.106. It's just a minute little, a little bit of a change. But the way to do that is then take your parallel dimension tool and go from that node to that node. And then go from that node to that node. And then take your virtual segment delete key and delete these outer lines. Then take your smart fill tool and fill in that shape. Let's fill it in with black. And then I move this up. And this might be not be the easiest way to do this. But you can see that it is tapered up. And you got to think about it in reverse. So when you do this, you actually need to flip it 270 degrees. Because you want the thicker part at the bottom. Because this picture right here, the where this box is equal, it looks thicker on the top than it does on the bottom because it actually is. So this is why you'd want to run your cup with your big mouth up here. And this should work. But then what I did to make it the one inch. And we actually need this part to be 1.26. The, the smaller part. So get your parallel dimension tool. And get on that node. And then that node. And we got 311. We actually need it to be 2 point or 1.268 or 2658 or something. So grab that and just squeeze it down till you get to 1. There's 110. I think, no, I need 126. Sorry about the confusion. And just keep playing around with this to 126. And if you change your decimal points you can actually get it a little bit better and when you're having trouble with this with your ratio locked 
or unlocked, you could actually make it 40%. Let's make it 40% um, again. Well, I'm going the wrong, I'm going with the wrong dimension. I'm sorry. Let me back up here. This is what we need to do. We need to change this one to 96% and maybe 96. So there's 1.25. So maybe 96.5. And even though my decimal place isn't showing it, it is. So let's go back to 97.5 and see what it is. Let's go 98. Okay, there's 1.26. That's about as close as you can get it without changing your decimal places. And then run that on your test cup and see if you don't come out with a one inch. Because now our bottom is 1.28 and our top is 1.26. So it's going to give it that optical illusion. And it actually probably does it. Uh, the way the thing's turning because this is, you know, back to the first video, this is turning a little bit slower than this is turning. But that's a pretty square box. Very seldom you're ever going to put a square graphic that's going to have a square line around it. And this is the same principle of doing an oval, except for the square is a little bit easier. And like I said before, if you just do a, a logo or text, you really don't have this problem. But think about that when you're doing, if you're doing a square, uh, and keep a test cup around. Don't ever throw them away because you can always write. I mean, this is an old test cup you can see right here. I did a circle on it years ago. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.